Our first presentation today uh, is on improving the outcomes excuse me, for rural stroke patients, a South Australian success story. Can we welcome Karen Dixon from the Country South, South Australia Local Health Network. Thank you for that warm welcome. In the next 20 minutes, I'm going to tell you the story about how we've improved outcomes for country stroke patients in South Australia. In 2017, so not that long ago, after Adelaide had rearranged their acute stroke services and um, base, they are now based at three centres in Adelaide in hospitals, um, we were really keen to, to make sure that country South Australians could also access best practice acute stroke management. We developed a, a country acute stroke model of care during 2017, which provided a vision and a plan for changing outcomes for all people experiencing stroke living in South Australia. This work has very much been a collaborative effort and I'd like to recognise my co-authors to the presentation today, Associate Professor Tim Kleinig and Jim Janis and, and Dr Aaron Tan, um, and also all the other people that contributed to, to this work. The nurses in the stroke units in Metropolitan Adelaide, our ambulance and MedStar colleagues, country GPs, country nurses, allied health and paramedics, and of course the consumers, patients and their families. So why all the fuss about stroke and changing the way we provide stroke services? Well, we know that it's a le leading cause of death and disability and about approximately 100 Australians have a stroke every day. Uh, and people in rural and remote areas are 19% more likely to experience a stroke. Ideally, we don't want anyone to have a stroke, so prevention strategies are vital. But what we do know is that we, when people do have stroke, we need to ensure the best services are available for them. We know, we've heard over the last few days, the significant challenges due to geography, access to specialist services, dispersed resources. What we also know is that the uh, medical science continues to bring new, new advances in terms of acute stroke management. And we want um, everyone in Australia to benefit from that, that latest evidence. And particularly in the area of ischemic stroke or the, the stroke that's caused by a blockage of an artery. And that's, at, that's at four out of every five strokes is based on that. So what's happened? Prior to um, January uh, 2018, in country South Australia, we had three country stroke services um, at Mount Gambier in the south, uh, Berry in the Riverland area, and Wyala in the north. And they provided services 8.30 to 4.30, Monday to Friday, in, term, in terms of acute stroke management. And I mean by that, access to thrombolysis for eligible stroke patients. There was also good pathways to rehabilitation services at those three sites from to about 2010. So in January, what we did was actually improve the pathways to ensure that every stroke patient who, who could, could get to a stroke service um, within the hour which, um, to, to actually access the, the thrombolysis services they needed under the four and a half hours. So that's via one of our three country stroke services or for those living close to Adelaide, one of the three centres in Adelaide. From February 2018, we were really fortunate to have the um, Associate Professor Tim Kleinig join us as our Clinical Director of Stroke. He also heads up the Neurology Department at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Another important change, a real game changer actually for us in country South Australia was the, the translation of evidence into practice. That clot retrieval was, was, was possible and viable up to 24 hours follow, following the onset of stroke symptoms for eligible patients. And the expanded use of tenecteplase as a thrombolytic prior to people being transferred for clot retrieval 
uh, and so that, again, that was a real game changer for us. From June last year, we implemented a 24-7 neurologist support via phone and then video conference for, for all of our country hospitals. And from the 3rd of September, we now have one number that all country hospitals can access that support. The stroke neurologists are able to guide clinicians over the phone initially and then via video conference to support timely decision making for country stroke patients and they can patch in the ambulance and retrieval service to expedite transfer as appropriate. I'll show you a short movie um, that where Associate Professor Tim Kleinig describes the service. Oh, whoops. great benefits of telehealth is that we can provide specialist expertise to everyone in the whole state uh, rather than just people in Metro Adelaide. It's well demonstrated that if you have an expert assessing a stroke patient, the decision about treating or not treating is made much quicker. We're on call 24 hours of every day and we have telehealth links to nearly every hospital in the state. This way we can uh, have a look at the patient directly and determine are they the sort of patient that needs to be retrieved or are they the sort of patient that can stay in the country town. So regardless of the time of day or night, if somebody with stroke-like symptoms presents to a country hospital, we can dial in and examine them remotely via our phone or via our laptop to assess whether they're having a stroke and, and what sort of treatment they might need. minute in stroke, 1.9 million brain cells are lost. So if we make these decisions faster and treat patients quicker, we can save millions of their brain cells. This means that people can get back to work, they can get back to their hobbies, they can care for their families. Uh, we reduce the burden on society and reduce the disability for these patients long term. Um, of the first two months of the 24-7 neurologist support, so June and July last year, there were 36 consults provided for 35 patients. Of those, 11 um, were stroke mimics, and in 24 of the stroke cases, six were retrieved for the clot retrieval procedure at the Royal Adelaide. Five patients received thrombolysis, three as a bridging to the clot, re clot removal, and two received thrombolysis alone. Um, and of those five people, tenecteplase was used four times as the thrombolytic. And although ex extra um, retrieval for, uh, occurred for 13 patients, this was offset by another 12 patients for whom transfer was avoided through the partnership between urologists and the local clinical team. What we're doing in country South Australia is um, we've expanded the uh, ability to access thrombolysis at our three country stroke services to now 24-7. And as well as that, we're opening up an um, additional country thrombolysis services um, to enable as many people as possible to access this acute therapy, um, to enable them to get the best chance and uh, at the best outcomes post-stroke. I'd like to tell you a, a story now about a patient that we were able to support through this service. On the left hand side you'll see a, a list of resources that's provided, we've provided to the neurologists. It, it, it has every 61 country hospitals uh, listed, their video conference connection point, uh, whether there's CT available and the hours of service um, for CT. And um, also, the, really importantly, the pathways to rehabilitation for those sites. And I've worked in partnership with Kiralee Holton, our re re um, re rehab physician clinical lead on that. This is um, Jeanette. Jeanette is a woman who is 60, 76 years of age. She lives in the York Peninsula. She is really, really happy to, for us to tell her story. Um, she was feeling awful. She was in the car with her husband. She went down to pick, she bent down to pick something up off the floor of the car and realised she couldn't actually move one of the sides of her body. Um, her husband realised something was wrong and must have been listening to the good health promoting fast message um, and took Jeanette to the local hospital, which was Wallaroo. 
As soon as she got to Wallaroo Hospital, the doctor and the nurse um, assessed her and contacted the 24-7 neurologist support. And you can just see Tim down in the top right, the, the right hand corner. Um, and he was able to assess Jeanette um, remotely with the support of the local, local doctor um, and determine the best treatment pathway for her. You can see she's got a very um, a dense stroke um, and you'll see in a minute um, when the assessment is done that she was unable to move one side of her body. Um, I'll just let that play out. So Tim is able to link in via his mobile phone or laptop anywhere um, through a Jabber link to our, our video conference system. The local team were then, um, based on the, the Im CT image and viewing the CT image, Tim was able to support the local team to be able to make the best decision for that woman in terms of acute therapies. And the best decision was to actually administer a thrombolytic prior to her being transferred to Adelaide. After each consultation, the neurologist completes um, a, a record and that's sent to the treating team or the local team for inclusion in the, the, the medical record of that patient. Ideally, we'd love an electronic me medical record that en enabled the whole state to access. Um, we're not currently there yet. Um, Jeanette was transferred and within four hours she was, um, sorry, 40 minutes she was landing at um, the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Um, we have really good partnerships with the ambulance service and the, re the retrieval service, MedStar, and she, Jeanette felt like she was treated like royalty um, when she arrived at the Royal Adelaide because the stroke team were there to meet her. Again, images were taken more uh, detailed. Imaging was performed to determine where the clot was and how big it was. And then the, cl the clot was retrieved via um, partnership between the neurologist and the interventional radiologist. And you can see the clot down in the, the left-hand corner there. This is a video of Jeanette um, after the procedure. Sorry, Jeanette, so we're less than 48 hours since your stroke yeah. occurred. How are you feeling? Great. You back to normal? Yes. Yeah. Yep. No, no symptoms at all from no, your stroke. No. All right. No, no. Can you stand up and show me your walking? Come this way. That's excellent. You can turn around and go back. You don't have to run away. Hey, any more photos Yeah. And so we're going to get you home today, which is oh, very great. exciting. Yeah. 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 You got anything to say to the other doctors that have helped you out? Oh, look, I can't thank you all enough. Yeah. The whole crew. It's just yeah. been wonderful. Yeah, it was lovely, lovely yeah. to have been involved in your care. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Jeanette, so oh. we're less... All right, Jeanette, so we're less than four... <laughs> all right, Jeanette. There we go. Now, enablers and lessons learned. Um, we learned really quickly that clinical leadership was vital in this space, so um, having Tim Kleinig um, talking with and meeting with rural general practitioners, um, sharing his immense knowledge, um, translating his evidence into practice, um, rather than country, uh, people from country South Australia being the last to receive evidence-based practice, we felt like we were on the cutting edge. Um, so the Tenecta plays evidence came out in April and we were able to implement it just about straight away. Um, also we had, uh, and we had a day a week of nurse, uh, nurse time from Mount Gambier and she was a really important part of our team. Um, we, our te existing telehealth network enabled us to actually really utilise it to its full extent. Um, we've been really fortunate to have really high quality sort of systems being rolled out to most of our country hospitals in our EDs. 
and that has enabled the neurologist to be able to remotely control the camera and actually be able to have really high quality image. Uh, particularly important where we haven't had CT access. We've only got 12 country hospitals in South Australia that have CT. Um, and many of those aren't available and staffed 24-7, so the ability to get images isn't always available. Um, and as a result, the neurologist really wanted to have eyes on patient and be able to assess with the local, local team's um, involvement. As I've said, rapid assessment of all stroke patients and identification of patients eligible for acute tr treatments is vital and time limited. Um, time equals brain cells and what we were able to do with Jeanette was actually keep some of the brain tissue viable um, through the use of the thrombolytic prior to being transferred for the removal of the clot, um, which is a really important acute um, therapy. The statewide approach has been pivotal because it's enabled all patients, regardless of where they live, to be assessed and treated and or transferred, leading to, um, leading to improved efficiencies across the state and, much more importantly, improved patient outcomes. And partnerships, this, none of this would have happened without the working together. Um, partnerships with skilled local clinicians, champions in the, in the local communities for this change to happen, the ambulance and emergency retrieval services, our rehab colleagues, um, and, and the, the consumers themselves. So what are our next steps? Um, we've got a, a couple more of our country thrombolysis sites to, um, to support and open up. Um, Port Lincoln was the latest on Monday, um, and we've got two others across country. Um, we're also talking to Broken Hill and Alice Springs about how we can support them through the 24-7 urology support, knowing that people from those sites often come down to Adelaide to receive acute treatment. We know that there are lots of remote areas of our state where CT access is not available and we're, we're actually working with some technology companies looking at opportunities for mini CTs um, so that we can, we can be much more um, able to actually assess uh, locally um, using the available technology. We need to do more around TIA clinics and pathways to services, hopefully avoiding people um, progressing on to a full stroke um, when they first present. We're, we're working in partnership with Sam, SAMRI, our, our Health and Medical Research Institute and the uh, Health and Translation Centre in South Australia and University of South Australia to improve data collection at all of our country stroke services to enable us to monitor and, and improve services as needed. We've got regular meetings that we're having with all our country stroke services clinicians um, and there's opportunities with that to do case reviews with the neurologist to determine where we might make improvements for the future. And we are strongly advocating for the continuation of a, a South Australian statewide stroke clinical network. I was really pleased to hear Catherine King the other day talk about a national telestroke initiative. Um, I guess what we've proven is that we can make it happen without much money. Um, uh, but I'm really keen to be part of a, a national approach to supporting everyone across Australia um, to improve all stroke outcomes. Thank you. And there's our contact details if you want further information.